Every Thursday, we check in with NBC5's Larry Miller to get an update on his progress on Dr. Oz's Transformation Nation. That's right. The national program is challenging Americans to take control of their health and change their lives for the better. Larry is here with us in studio with his big reveal. Larry. Hey, good evening, guys. And of course, good evening to our viewers at home. Well, of course, you know, change is never easy. Of course, I'll be the first to admit that. But when you notice little changes here and little changes there, it can give you the strength you need to power through and eventually reach your goals. We're more than a month into Dr. Oz's Transformation Nation Challenge. I'm losing weight and feeling great. This week, I lost another two pounds and conquered my first weight loss goal, which was 12 pounds or 5% of my body weight. My Weight Watchers mentor, Jody, even gave me a star for my accomplishment. At Oz Fitness, we're making strides there, too. I'm getting stronger and am better able to get through my workouts. I was very pleased to see the numbers where they were at, not only the inches, but also the body fat percentage to come down. I lost an inch in my waist. I also lost an inch in my chest and decreased my body fat percentage. But according to my trainer, I still have a lot to work on. The biggest thing is just consistency. Just making sure that you're keeping your eye on the long-term goal yeah. and focusing on, hey, it's, it's going to take time. Patience. Maybe that's the biggest thing that you can work on. Dustin and I have developed a close relationship, and he knows I often get frustrated when the number on the scale doesn't go down as much as I would hope. You know, the scale is only one part of the equation of what means to be healthier. Justin says all I can do is stay committed to the program and work harder for a slimmer, healthier me. Well, frustration and disappointment are emotions that you'll have while making life changes. So here are my lessons this week. The first, be honest. Be honest with the things that you do and to be honest with the things that you don't do, and especially your weaknesses, and make the changes that you need to, and of course, capitalize on your strengths. Number two, set goals. If you want to look or feel a certain way by a certain time, then write it down. Write down your goals. Keep them close by so that when you start to feel down, you can remind yourself of what you are changing and begin to concentrate on that. And the three, find a buddy. Find someone in whom you can confide and share your feelings with during your transformation, transformation process. Of course, I have my friends here at NBC5 News, and I also have you at home. And you'll need those people to help you get through times, uh, those times when times get you know, pretty difficult. And remember, we have a free Weight Watcher session for you every Tuesday morning at 1350 Biddle Road. Of course, that's Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., and I hope to see all of your smiling faces there. Looking good, Larry. Thanks, guys. Hey, congratulations on that progress. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty remarkable. So. It really is. It's awesome. And um, it doesn't mean that it's any less painful either. <laughs> it's been a rocky road getting there, but yeah, exciting. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Absolutely. Hopefully we all can work out together sometime. I'm still waiting for my invite. Just, oh, Lord. Just saying. I yeah, really I, I've been Oh, it's making me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Larry. Thanks, Thanks Larry. guys. Appreciate it.